I know you love to talk about it. But I don't know if that's a good thing or not. All right. Fellas, introduce yourself, then we're going to get started. Andre? I'm Andre Walker, defensive uh, end, senior, HB. Uh, Bailey Zappi, quarterback, I'm a junior. Talk about what it's been like, you know, just to go through last season, and then you all had your, your closeout meet, a meeting with uh, individuals with coach, and it's like knowing Coach Healy last season is last season. Let's move forward. Let's get ready for the spring. We know what we got to do. We know what, what, what happened. Let's move forward. Yeah. Both of y'all. Definitely, uh, last year was definitely tough for us. You know, knowing that our true, you know, self wasn't a representation of the score or the outcome of last year. You know, going to the next year, you know, we know we have a lot of new people coming in, we have a lot more enthusiasm, a lot more experience coming back. So we know that, you know, the outcome of last year isn't going to be anywhere closest to the outcome this year. And we're just uh, a lot more confident, a lot more prepared, and a lot more, you know, ready to get after it. Maybe. Uh, just piggyback off of him, I mean, um, this spring, coaches really told us just to, you know, forget about last season, but learn from it. Learn what things you mistake you did wrong, do the things you did right, and just continue to get better. And this summer, get bigger, faster, and stronger, and get ready for this season. And this season, I, we all feel like that it's going to be our year that we that we're ready for the season. Speaking of bigger, stronger, faster, strength and conditioning is one of those things. You know, that guy's got. And stay in touch with you all 24/7, pretty much. While well, coach has, you know, limitations, stressed by the NCAA. What did you all do in the off season before spring drills to get ready for moving forward? Yeah. Me, um, our strength and conditioning coach, Coach Kanye, really has been getting after us. We've been doing a lot of agility school, a lot of uh, intense running. Uh, it's a lot more different from last year. This year is a lot more focused on you know, explosiveness, you know, uh, short bursts, and all that kind. So, Bailey, your situation is kind of like different just because you're the quarterback, not an arm movement. You know, so it's, you got to protect your ribs. Yes, sir. <laughs> a lot of for me is just, you know, uh, doing a bunch of abs, you know, getting that core tight where I can take them hits, you know, um, a lot of like dumbbell stuff, a lot of weight room stuff, and just like skill players, you know, I go out there and I do that hard conditioning. I mean, we do what, 2,000 yards of running. I mean, that that's tough, you know. So, I'm over there running with 180 pound guys and I'm 210, 215. So, I mean, it's nice, but this, like Andre said, this summer has been a lot better. I mean, we're, we're grinding hard this summer. A lot of the guys are you know, really focused and the vibe around the team is so much better this year and we're ready to get it going this season. One of the things is you all have a large campus that's built for cross country running and training. And look, come across the face. It means you all have done it at least once. <laughs> How often have you all done that trick? Around the around the campus. Yeah, right. the inside the fence, not not the outside, because the, the campus has a inside the the, mm -hmm. the fence cross country. Uh, I say I've done it about two or three times. No, me, I haven't done it. It's quite a distance, so I try to stay away from it. <laughs> but now, it, it'll it'll increase heart rate. It, you know, you know what's going on. Uh, you can break down, and you got those little. Dips and dabs and all this. Yes, <laughs> it kind of like wake you up. The other thing is, if you're doing it on a, on a regular basis, endurance and stamina. That's the one thing that I do, just because it, I, I understand that part of it, because I, that's what I do on, on a regular basis, at least once a week. Your situ Bailey, your situation revolves around offensive linemen, depth. Talk about what it's been like to go to get ready for fall drills and working with those guys and all as far as protecting you to stay upright and get some things done. Oh, it's great. Well, um, we got six new guys coming in this, or we had three in the spring and then three more freshmen came in this summer. And, I mean, we've just been in time together, you know, learning each other, just building that camaraderie, just ready for fall camp. And um, they've been, I, they've been asking me questions about the offense and, you know, I'm like another coach. So I, I'm helping them learn it, getting them situated and everything. And, uh, I think this new group that we have coming in and the past guys that are that are still here, this group, this old line group is going to be the best we've had since I've been here. Wide receivers, running backs, guys that are because you all do a lot of you know out of the backfield stuff. Yes, sir. Uh, at safety valves. What's it been like? You know, how much have you all like 
grasp what's going on and moving forward and send, and getting familiar with each other. Well, we've, we've done a very good job this summer. I mean, like I said, the, the team has really came together and, and ready to win. Like they want to win this year. So, I mean, Mondays and Wednesdays, us as a, like players, we go out there by ourselves and we do seven on seven. And like the running backs and I go out there and we work on handoffs. We work on like what who they're supposed to block and their check releases and stuff like that. And same with the receivers. We work on our timing and things like that, just getting ready for fall. And, uh, this year has been a lot better with that. We actually have guys wanting to go out there and get better. And I love things like that. I love going out there and be able to help guys out. And that just only helps us better in the fall. Talk about this conference, you know, just from the quarterback, from your position. What have you seen the growth different from you and what you, you see in front of you and what you've adjusted to to look at what's there and then take advantage of it and move for, or take it, move the team forward? I mean, that, that's a big part about being a quarterback. you got to put your offense in the right position, in the right play. And um, I think Coach Kittley being underneath them for two years, he's really helped me understand the defenses and be able to read them and realize what they're in and helping me understand what play I have to get us offensive in and understand, like, which, what time the audible and when not the audible. And um, Coach Kittley has really helped me with that. And the other quarterback, we got some other great quarterbacks in this, this league. I mean, you speaking of John Copeland, you got uh, – Chase 4K is some really great quarterbacks around here, and looking at them, just seeing how they led their offense, like led their offenses, led their teams to be conference champions. I mean, I'd, I'd love to be there in that position. It only makes me want to work harder and get to that point. Coach mentioned in, uh, in the conversation that he and I had earlier that this is the first year since he's been in the league, mm -hmm. uh, but it's been a while that the conference is pretty much wide open this year. There's no dominant team. If, if it, the Dynamite strikes in the, in the right place and blows it up. Exactly. You all have got your shot. Yeah, we got our shot. We, you never know. A team can get hot. And I mean, like you look at Incarnate Word and Lamar. The year before they went to the playoffs, they were a one-two win team. And I mean, we look at that for us this year. Like, why not? Why can't we do that? Why can't we be that next team to go from the bottom to the top? And we look forward to trying to do that this year. Andre, on the other side, you're looking to get out. Y'all are looking to get out the feet. Yes, sir. You know, and put people on their back, take disrupt the quarterback. What have you all not, that's done toward moving toward that situation to get better? Definitely, um, I feel like we've improved depth at all the positions. Uh, the defensive line, we've improved depth. And cornerbacks and safeties, we've improved a lot. We've brought in a lot of JUCOs and uh, new freshmen coming in looking real good, big and strong and fast. And what that does is creates competition. Everybody gets better off of competition. We have a lot of vets coming back from our linebacker position, Brandon Young and Caleb Johnson. We also have a pretty good defensive uh, a linebacker coming in as well as a freshman. So yeah. our front seven seems to be you know, really stout this year, and our cornerbacks and safeties look, uh, look really good. So I'm excited to see them play this year as well. Out of those guys coming in, how quickly are they adapting to what's not so much campus life, but what you all are doing off on, uh, on the field? And that's another thing, too. They're really enthusiastic about the game football and very, you know, ready to get after it. So in terms of learning the scheme and, and different things like that, it's pretty been really quick. Um, so far, they've been coming in afterwards, you know, beforehand and just trying to get as much uh, learning opportunities as they can. And um, they're really excited about it. So the learning curve is really, really, you know, really quick. You've had a, this, some time and all to, to grow in this uh, conference like everybody else. Uh, what have you seen, you know, and you all that's, that's on the opposite side of the ball as far as, you know, guys, you you want to disrupt like the receivers or running back or the quarterback. How much strength, how much better have you all gotten to where you feel like every game has certain situations that come up and said, okay, we can disrupt this and, and take over? Yeah, um, I feel like we've gotten a lot better than uh, last year. You know, a lot of the offense we see now is a lot of spread and quick passes and things like that, a lot of screens, a lot of quick game. So really we just want to focus on, um, you know, being efficient in our movements, learning how to recognize a uh, pass versus run, and attacking the pass when we see it present. So that's really just re recognizing the plays, formations, and, and moving fast. That's basically it. As a team overall, are you looking forward to fall drills, first non-conference game, or first conference game? 
Again, we're taking it one step at a time. So we're we're focused on fall drills, ready to get there. You know, get these freshmen going in on some live reps and getting them situated and getting them going and getting the feel of the game and how fast it is. So we're really looking forward to fall drills. And then once fall drills is over, we'll go one step at a time. Go one and zero each week. Going out to UTEP. Did you all were any either one of you all on the team on squad when that last time they they, they played UTEP? I was. Yeah, I was a freshman at the time. So. What was it like then, and what are you looking forward to this time around? Well, at the time, um, the offensive line was pretty good. I think their uh, guard went second round to the Giants that year. So definitely a lot of strength in the offensive line. So this year I'm excited to see what they look like this year. Last time they had a pretty good running back too, so I'm really excited to see how our defense goes against their uh, run game. Making road trips against a Power 5 team, uh, the next level from FCS to FBS. How much are both of you all looking forward to that situ to, to that game as far as, okay, it's early in the season, but we can also make a statement? No, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, we're looking forward to the environment as well, playing a big FBS team. I mean, you always look forward to those big time games. And I mean, just playing a big team like that, like you said, make a statement throughout the year. If we go out there and we play a really good game, and that sets the course for us throughout the whole season. We, as a whole team, we can see that we can actually play good and, I mean, just go on and carry it through the season. Is there anything else that's going on on campus that folks don't know what's happening at HBU that they need to know? Oh, we're grinding. Grinding hard. Oh, okay. Grinding. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, then, uh, we'll oh, that's right. You're a senior. So you're going to close this out. So go with a bang. It's your last ride. Andre, what's it been like for this your time period on, on campus? It's really been an exciting journey. Um, it's been really quick. You know, coming in as a freshman and having to play, it's been really. So you've actually been on the field all four years? Oh, yes, sir. Since day one. Day one of fall camp. It's been, uh, they threw me into the fire pretty early. <laughs> they throw you in or you move somebody out? What happened? Oh, yeah, just, you know, threw me in. Just came in. <laughs> So, so you didn't come in with this hot head of the freshman? Yeah, I'm going to take your spot, man. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> yes, that's what football is all about, competition and going in and competing. So definitely it's been an exciting journey. Uh, senior year has been, it moves actually pretty fast. So I'm just excited to, you know, leave my legacy on HBU. And what did you uh, major in? Uh, biochemistry and molecular biology. Wow, you're talking about making some money and making a statement in the world. <laughs> Literally, I, I, I mean, on the serious side, that, that's an environment, uh, job environment that's that's increasing every day. You know, especially in uh, uh, microbiology, they are always re looking for research people that understand what you know what that is. So, yeah, I plan on uh, going to medical school afterwards. You know, after you know, doing a couple of pro days and things like that, and then going to medical school. Well, young man, I wish you luck. I really do, because they need some more people to find out what's going on, you know, diseases and all, and stuff come up, these new strains and everything. At least you know what I'm talking about, and I understand yeah. what you, where you're coming from. Uh, I wish you luck along the way, and you, you, you're getting your degree, and that's what your mom and dad, that's, that's parents, is what they ask for when they coaches come in and recruit. Just take care of my child, get them through school, and then the last thing out of it, when you walk out that door, is, you better get your degree. <laughs> 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 All right, fellas, introduce yourselves, and then we'll close this out. Uh, Bailey Zappi, quarterback, junior. Andre Walker, defensive end, senior. This is Jerry Lee Willard, Jr., Houston, Texas. Uh, for the uh, last go-round for me uh, this week, media football day for the Southland. And I'm out. <laughs>